Hey, hey, family, it's the Common Sense Investor coming at you again. Today we're going to be exploring when will the AMC squeeze happen, how long will it happen, and how high it will go. I'm going to try to cover that in less than five minutes. So you do know, if you've been following my videos, if you haven't, then you can look in the cards where it says interpreting the pattern correctly, where we've identified the fractal in this time frame. We've overlaid the past fractals into today's time frame, and we have outlined each position that AMC has taken from the past and overlaid it into today. So what we're looking forward to is we've passed through the fractal time frame. We've entered into a consolidation box. We've watched the consolidation box. We hit the volume box. We were supposed to get $1.4 volume inside of this box once we get there we push up to 50 from 50 we move up to 200 from 200 we're going to bounce back we're going to hit the warning box we're going to bounce back down into this consolidation box and then it's going to rip up to 720 dollars now the questions i get the most are how long is this going to take well i'm gonna be honest with you Every single YouTuber, every single YouTuber, although they didn't want to give a date, they specified that it would happen last week. According to their technical analysis of their charts, it was supposed to happen Monday or Tuesday of last week. Now, I have to agree with them. Once we hit this, this volume box and volume picked up, things should have just went parabolic for us. But it didn't. What happened was right here inside of the consolidation box where it was supposed to be 250 million, 300 million, 400 million, 300 million, 250 million to shoot us on up, everything stopped. And we had 66 million, 46 million, 36 million, 37 million. So instead of increasing volume, we've decreased volume and we've decreased it to the point where. Even in the consolidation box, we were getting more volume, more consistent volume. And over here, we were getting less volume, which brought us here. So this was supposed to pick up enough volume, according to the past charts, uh, fractals. We were supposed to get the volume to push it up, but it didn't come. What does this tell me? This tells me the pattern has been broken. This tells me that if we would have stayed in accordance with the pattern, then, let me pull it back down for you so you can see it good. The high we would have hit is 720. And then the fractal, the pattern starts over and it runs itself out just like it does here. It starts over, it runs through the fractal time frame, it'll enter consolidation period, go to a volume box, go up, have a warning box. This is what would have happened had the pattern stayed consistent. This box would have started over and it would have looked something like this. And we would have started over. But the good news, the fantastic news, is even though all the YouTubers were incorrect and me about last week this is the most important four days of amc's squeeze history so far we have lost volume even below what the consolidation box had and it breaks the pattern that means this does not have to happen it doesn't have to hit 720 and then start all over what it means is There's fixing to be an event that's going to cause us to rip up to 50 and then to 200. And then once we hit 200, sky's the limit right here. We don't know how high this thing can go. I'm trying to get it. It don't want to work with me. So I'm bitch. It's going to go up. It could hit $1,200. But why? Because it's broken the pattern. We're in uncharted territory as of right now, as of the last day of the week. 
we are now in uncharted territory. You can look at your charts. You can look at your TA. It's all going to be bullshit because it's broken the pattern when the volume dropped and we're ready for a rip up. Now, I know Rico's giving himself a hard time about being wrong for last week. Stop, Rico. Stop. You were right, my friend. If you go back and you look at your video giving the technical analysis for, the, for what is it, Monday, Tuesday, when you said it was supposed to go, you also said, I got to give you the bull, and I think it could fall to 29. You didn't want it to, but you said it was possible, and it did fall to 29. You also said, Rico, that if it hit 29, there was a possibility that it could fall all the way to 24. Then you stopped yourself and you said, no, no, that's not possible. It's not falling down to 24. It could fall down to 29, rebound, and go. And according to Rico's TA, we're heading to 200, and I see it too. We would have went from here to 50, and then we were going to gap up to 200. And that's where I think we're going. We're going right now, we're going to the 200 range in the next couple of days and then from there we could just keep on going we could well we got to hit the warning box which i got to talk about next but from here we can rip up and go past 200 we can go three four five six but we're gonna have a warning box something is gonna happen and i already know what it is that is gonna put the brakes on the rise so be comforted and know get ready Monday and Tuesday are going to be one hell of a ride for AMC. It's fixing to happen. Now, if you haven't watched my video on what the real short interest is, I show you how Ortex tells you it's 19.4%, but it's not. Ortex is wrong. The YouTubers who use it are wrong. The real short interest is probably more than 419%. So click the card in the video. And I and I see you over there. I love y'all. Oh, do me a favor. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That's for YouTube. It ain't for me. It's free. So do me a favor and please do that if you enjoyed this technical analysis. Remember, once it lost its volume, the pattern changed. And now we have the ability to go parabolic. Whereas if it would have stayed with the pattern, it would have ran to two consolidated ran to 720 and started over that is no longer a possibility because the volume has changed i love y'all see y'all later bye